All right, um, I probably should have pre-documented this, but I didn't. Um, I got a package today from Snap-on. I, I just pre-opened it for the video because I'm filming with my phone and I only have one hand. So I wanted to open it so I didn't have to fool with that. So hopefully nothing inside needs opened. Um, I had an issue with some impact sockets that I have right here. Um, the coating starting to like wear off and they're starting to rust. This is, these are impact sockets. They have a special coating on them so that they not supposed to rust. And when they start getting heavy rust, the tolerances of these are pretty tight anyways with fitting your ratchet on the end and fitting it on the bolt. So that's where it can become a problem. And some of these are not that bad to where they can still be used and they're working. But for instance, some of the smaller ones, see how that, you know, you can see that it's built up pretty good and they stop it from um, fitting on the, the tool and the bolt you're taking off. So I got a hold of snap on and they kind of said that really you're gonna have issues with that and I think that's a three eighths Yeah, three eighths. So that's a pretty small one. Anyways, so you're you're gonna have a pretty tough time Getting so I called snap on and asked if they'd warranty the set out because and they gave me a debate and was like um, We don't really cover against rust because we don't know the environment. I'm like um, Environment I live in Ohio for one, so I'm exposed to, you know, uh, mild summers. I mean, our summers ain't really hot. I'm comparing them to like Arizona and Florida. We don't have summers like that. Um, so ours are pretty mild around there. Uh, we're exposed to all the, all the elements. We get, we get rain, we get snow, we get fall weather, we get spring weather, but my tools are kept in a garage they were in that toolbox. Now they're gonna be kept in over there in that toolbox. So it's not like I left them outside sitting in the yard for a week in all the different weathers that we get here in Ohio within a week. Um, so I called and the first thing he went to and I explained to him like, you know, the, the coating that's supposed to be on it and I brought up Arbor Freight. Well, you know, I go to Arbor Freight, they're not gonna give me no problems of warranty and stuff out. I think that kind of maybe upset them a little bit, but also motivate them to want to actually do something for their customers. So, and half of these I can't read the part number on because some of the rust is so bad. I could barely make that one out. If we can make it out on camera. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I grabbed one and I just figured the part number and the size was on there. I, I don't have the thing. It's been a long time since I've had these. So I picked one up and I read a part number off thinking that that was a part number for the set. And then this ind individual size is on there. No, each individual piece has a part number itself. So when I called to go to the part number, they replaced the part number right here. So this was a replacement for I want to say this one right here is a 15th 16th. So we can't barely make it out. Where's the size at? Snap on warranty. I think I want to say it's right in here, but you can't save something about safety goggles. Uh, there's a barely make a part number out. Okay, though, we're gonna just gonna skip it and maybe it's this one right here. 15 sixteenths, yeah. 15 sixteenths, and it's like, I ate something 300. I can barely make it out because of the rust. So, but that's what they sent me right here. So they sent me the replacement for this one. So I'm like, uh, this random socket came in. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? The conversation we had said that, yeah, you replaced the whole set. Well, I called back and they was like, well, we have to listen to the phone conversation. So they listened to the phone conversation, got back with me in like two days. And because the original agreement was to replace the set, 
they honored that and are replacing a set, but I had to call back and I had to read each individual number off on the socket because they're replacing it as a socket. That's what they said. So I'm like, okay, I can't read each individual socket because half the numbers are so badly rusted, I can't make them out. So I had to do some research online to find out what the numbers were on the socket sets what the part number was and each individual number was on the socket set so that I could get them replaced. So let's see what they sent me. This is the original, but I had to call back. So let's see what they sent me. They said they were replacing them all. Using invoice papers. Well, this is only one drive on here. They repacked that one later, forgot that one, this three. Okay, yeah. It looks like they replaced them all. This is just supposed to be what's in here. And the part numbers. Maybe they ran out of paper room. No, there's plenty of room down here. They might have repacked it, that one. And it looks like just a thank you. Okay, so let's see. So they threw them in here loose, so, so let's see, they may have only sent me the set minus the one they sent me before, that could be why they done that. I was kind of hoping they would send it to me in the tray, so that way I can have the tray put it in, because they were just plastic trays, and they don't really hold up. Well, that's a 15 sixteenths right there. So now I got two 15 sixteenths, a one inch. That's what that one is right there. We just can't make it out. They also, they changed the design on them since then. It's not really like a major change. They just kind of put them in the middle, snap on one inch and you get your part number. Where before everything's kind of uh, crammed all down at the bottom. Right, there's the one. Right there. <laughs> Filled with rust. So I got the one inch. Um, 15 sixteenths is next. Because it doesn't matter. And you're supposed to go to three quarter. Or no, three quarter would be right there. I'm pretty sure they replaced it, the whole set. I should have a whole set over here. When they do them loose like this, you need to make sure that you didn't get a duplicate. This is 11, 11 sixteenths. I believe that's going to go right about here. And they're not in any order. Half inch is going to be way down here. So I, just, yeah. um, I even asked, am I supposed to... I asked if I was supposed to send these older ones back. They said they didn't even need them. I'm like, so what am I going to do? So, I mean, seven eighths. You sent me a seven eighths. No, you didn't. That's the oddball one that they sent me. That was on the sheet. That's what I was thinking. Okay, what we got here? 13 sixteenths. Seven eighths. Right there. That goes here. Should have a nine sixteenths in here. Nine sixteenths. Nope. Half inch, it's right here. Seven sixteenths, three eighths. What is this one? Five sixteenths. Okay. Clearly, 
I got more to a set than what I have. Oh, cuz I, I got an extra one because I sent this extra one. Um, I knew I lost the half inch. Um, I don't know where I lost it at. I lost the half inch. And then I don't even have this one in my set. So actually two of these. This is a one, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 12, two, four, six, eight, 10. <coughs> 10. Um, I don't have this socket. I just had the, uh, maybe it did. It's been so long. I know I lost a half inch. Maybe I got this one laying around somewhere. Good thing they don't need these back because they might give me a call saying, hey, you shorted us two sockets. Um, but, you know, snap on, they did They did me good. They they took care of me. They sent the set. Um, I wish it came in a tray. I can't complain. They replaced them. Um, the snap on guy in my district, I got mixed feelings about it, you know? He, I should have stand by, but yeah, we'll get that worked out. But then maybe he didn't know either because when I called the company, they didn't know. So, thank you, Snap On, for standing by your product. Um, if you want them back, you should have sent me a letter or said something so I could send them back. And now I got an extra Snap On socket. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody might want some of these. Some of them, I mean, they're not all bad. Um, you know, small ones are really bad. And maybe I could take a wire brush on a Dremel and kind of go inside and clean it up. I don't know. I didn't want to do it. They're not supposed to rust, but maybe somebody would clean them up some and use them until they start back. Because, I mean, rust is like a cancer. <laughs> It'll spread. It'll keep spreading. And there's no way you're going to get that from stop coming unless maybe clean it up, get it gone, and maybe put a recoating on it or something. I don't know. A lot of money into a socket though. I mean, the initial investment was quite a bit. Um, so yeah, just uh, you know, hit that subscribe button. I know I do knives, knife reviews, and stuff like that, but I've been on a tool kick so far, and I'm thinking doing some tool videos too. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, friends. Remember, don't be cutting yourselves on your knives.